Hi Cancer, it is Dawn Marie, Moonlight Princess, and I am here to do a reading for you. This is going to be just for the next like week and a half, end of January going into, um, okay, going into February, okay? So it's not going to be too crazy. I'm just going to pull a few cards and see what Spirit has to say for you. If you'd like a personal reading, I do do them. Great prices. My information's in the box below. Just hit me up. Send me an email. Um, again, if this doesn't resonate, it's not your reading. Just take what fits. Don't try to make it fit if it don't. Everything's fluid. He I mean, could be she. King could be queen. Just put it where it goes and take it only if it resonates. Okay? I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you could like, share, subscribe, that would be really great. It helps my message get to other people. Um... It would just mean a lot because I'd like to get my message out to as many people as I can. In the meantime, cancer. What the fuck? Yo, this new year is starting off a little different for some for, for certain signs. And this you're like the third sign that I've done so far that okay. We have Virgo energy at the bottom of the deck with this Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody who's a gossip. This is somebody who's a gossip. They're not grounded. They're jealous. Okay. This could be someone who's very manipulative, but they're very jealous. They, you know, if this is not your energy, somebody is being jealous on you. They're talking shit about you. Yeah. This isn't your energy. I'm telling you. Someone's talking shit. They're gossiping. They're nasty. Yeah. Right underneath that was the Queen of Swords reversed. They're both reversed. Queen of Swords, again, is someone who's gossipy, fucking rude, malicious with her mouth. This, listen, you got a lot of queens. I, I don't know if you're a female, Cancer, it, and it doesn't matter, because like I said, energy is fluid, but there's a lot of queen energy, which means if... You could either have a lot of the same sex that's doing this to you. So we'll take it as it fits if you're male or female. You could be a male that has a lot of women gossiping. But either way, there's a lot of queens. So what I'm trying to say is you at least have one, two, three different people in the feminine energy. Because male can have feminine energy too. It doesn't mean they're gay. It doesn't mean nothing. Okay? But there's three different people. And they're all motherfucking reverse cancer. So you got some shit talkers because now you've also got the Queen of Cups reversed. This is someone who withholds. They're emotionally cold. They act like they don't give a fuck. They're very, very emotionally cold. The High Priestess. So somebody could be giving somebody the silent treatment. Somebody's not talking to somebody. Something's blocked. It could be your intuition, but I don't feel like that. I feel like somebody is, is fucking playing games. Well, you could, you could be blocking them, these people. Or they could be playing games with you and blocking you. I almost feel like you're the one that needs to block them, Cancer, because you have the Ace of Cups, which is your card, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's reversed. So now when the Ace of Cups comes up reversed, we're talking sadness, pain, unrequited love, losses, okay? Um, the need. That's why spirit makes me look at the thing because I would have never even thought of that and I hear spirit say go look because I was going to say everything else but that this is the need to withdraw and what did I say here you're going to need to block somebody you're going to need to 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 put the kibosh on some some people's need to withdraw again with the world something is has to end something's got to end a new beginning must start but something must come to an end if something's going full circle it's got to end Okay, the world is a card of, because I gave you, for, no, I didn't give you for that one either. Okay, the world is a card of Aquarius, could, um, could be Gemini, could be Libra, but it's basically a card of Aquarius. The high priestess I didn't give you, that is, could be, a, that's a Scorpio, could be a Pisces. A lot of water in here. You, there's a lot of water in here, Cancer. But let's start pulling some clarifiers to see who the fuck these bitches are. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm just going to start, just do, let me do the Queen of Pet Cups. Let's, let's, that's the one that's like down here. So well, who's this Queen of Cups? 
Because I really think they're different energies. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it could be one person exuding all these energies, but I don't think so. I think you got like three different people talking shit. And they could be friends. They could be separate in individual people. But I'm going to stop there. Queen of Cups. Yeah, she's the magician reverse. So this is somebody who, if if you, whether you believe in it or not, there are some people that practice magic. She could, this person, he or she could literally be a magician. Someone that does, um, you know, magic. So they could be um, doing dark magic. They could be throwing negative energy your way. Or they could just be a manipulator. That's just what it comes down to. If they're not doing magic, they're fucking manipulative. Whoever this queen of cups is. They use manipulation techniques on you. Okay, so it's either magic or just with their words. They, may, they maybe, maybe they use their emotions to make you feel bad. Cancer. You know what I mean? Make you feel guilty. Who is this fucking Queen of Pentacles reversed? Someone is very defensive. Somebody always seems to have their guard up all the time. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, she's always... Someone plays the victim. Look at her. The band-aid on her head. They play, Whoever this, this this Queen of Pentacles is, they play the victim. Very defensive. Now, who is this reverse Queen of Swords? This is so you'll... Maybe you'll get an idea of who the hell you're dealing with and you'll know when you hear the description of them. I'm not doing all that. Come on, just one. Everyone was just one. Why can't I just get one? I love you, Spirit. Please. Who is the Queen of Swords reverse for Cancer? Please, Spirit. Give them some clarity. I need it to come out. There we go. Wow. All reversed. These are all reversed. King of Wands. So this Queen of Swords is, a, is in the energy of this King of Wands. One second, let me just see. That is a card of Aries or Pisces, okay? This is somebody who thinks they're better than everybody else. They have to be the center of attention. They're, they're a bully. They're a dictator. You know? It's, you know, a typical bully. Yeah, they break promises. They're unreliable. Yeah, that's who the Queen of Swords is. Center of attention, a bully. These are some, I don't know who the fuck, I don't know. If, I don't know if these are friends of yours or maybe you're a guy, you got a bunch of girlfriends or if you're a girl, maybe you got a bunch of dudes, side dudes, who knows. This is some funky energy. I don't know if this is a work reading or maybe those are coworkers and you need to release yourself from this fucking job. It's got to end. I don't know, but this is some crazy energy. Um... The world, spirit, I'm going to just talk to me about the world for cancer. Please and thank you. So I'm going to do, oh. <laughs> so the world, something has to end, okay? Because once it ends, give me one second. I just want to. <laughs> I love how they came out together. I just got to say, one is, oh, they're both cards of Virgos. Okay, they're both cards of Virgos. You might be cancer in a situation right now where your funds are a little low. You may not be broke. You may, I don't know, but you may have some insufficient funds. And this blockage shit, for some reason, like I said, one might be casting magic on you. And one might be sending negative energy away that your finances will be shit. You know what I mean? Because you might be in that, I feel like you're in this energy of not the greatest finances, but once you end this shit, whether it's removing these people from your life, whatever it is, you got the Ten of Pentacles coming. It's going to be unexpected. You're going to have like financial windfalls. This is fucking beautiful. Fucking beautiful, Cancer. Financial windfalls, love windfalls, windfalls. It, it just windfalls. That sounds beautiful to me. Okay, let's just get a couple of advice cards from Spirit, and then I will let you be on your way. Here we go. Okay. So, I'm going to do my numbers real quick and get them out of the way in case any of these numbers or these dates resonate with anybody. Eight. Eight years old, the eighth of a month. August, August 8th. 
nine. Nine years old, ninth of a month, nine years, September, September 9th. And then 35. 35 years old, 35th year, March 5th, May 3rd, August. August 3rd, August 5th. Okay. Now, intuition. Spirit wants you to know to just follow your intuition. I gave you already clues on who these people are. You're going to know, Cancer. Just follow your intuition. You'll know what to do. Yeah, of course you stay on path like I was just telling you to do. End the cycles that need to be ended because you're going to have your fulfillment of wishes. You are, Cancer, going to have your fulfillment of wishes. You just need to remove these people because people are sending you negative juju. They're talking bad about you. They are causing so much negative energy in your fucking area. They're making it almost impossible for you to stay on path. You need to remove these people, Cancer. However it fits, whatever situation it blends into, you need to do whatever it takes. If you're in a situation you can't, let's say you live somewhere and, and that requires you leaving, then figure out how to not live in that home figure it out that's exactly what i just heard spirit say so somebody may be using that as an excuse i don't but i live with these people then figure out how to not live with these people but you need to get away because once you do whatever this is you're going to have some major abundance coming your way thank you cancer for allowing me to read for you guys i love you so much joy justice love and blessings to each and every one of you i love you all so much <laughs>